What's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze two two four four. I'm welcome to the Infiltrators. It is the Target RK contract. This time we're doing it with optimized routes and equipment. If you're looking for a guide on the default loadout, then I'll be leave a link in the description for the full video for that. For this one though, we have from level one we have the Paparazzo, and the complication for this elusive Target RK contract is we're only allowed one disguise change. So we're going to start in the Palace Garden. I'm going to bring along a briefcase with a remote emetic gas device stored inside it. I'm going to bring along a proximity taser. From the very start, we're going to retrieve the gas device out of the briefcase and immediately conceal it back into the briefcase. What that's going to do is arm the gas device inside the briefcase so we can now use it while it's in our hand like this. Next, we're going to go straight to our target. He's going to be the guy in the hat that's walking it around here. So we're going to set off the gas device while it's in the briefcase. He is going to head to the bathroom to be sick and that is where we're going to set our trap. So we're going to head into the bathroom we're going to turn on the tap to overflow the sink and flood the bathroom. And then we're going to drop the proximity taser out of our inventory. So go into the inventory, press the drop item once you've highlighted it, and then we now head straight to the exit. So what's going to happen? He's going to enter that bathroom. It's going to set off the taser. It's going to electrify the puddle of water that we've created, and that's going to electrocute our target for an accident kill. So that allows us to head straight to an exit while that all takes place. So there we go, top left corner. Nice little trap set. Now we can head straight to an exit right here. Really, really simple. Really easy to do. As long as you've got the equipment, of course. Any taser will do, but if you don't use the uh, the proximity, then you'll have to be there to, to understand when to activate it. But that's how you do level one. Really straightforward. So moving on to level two. Level two, we have the stowaway. We have to retrieve the dictaphone as well. One disguise change is still the same. We're going to start in the warehouse for this one, and this time we're going to bring along the remote micro taser. Skip the opening panning shot, and then run straight out of the room after we've exited the blend spot, and run straight to our target. He's going to be coming through this door right here. So we're going to bump into him to stop him, and then we're going to drop the micro taser in that puddle of wine just on the floor. He's going to see you drop the item and he's going to walk to this corner. Now, don't worry if he doesn't walk to this corner straight away. He will eventually come over here anyway. All you need to do is basically just hang around him until he says, Oh, sorry, I didn't know you was here. Something like that. He'll say something like that and then he'll walk away. That's what we want him to do. Because oh, he wants to talk on his dictaphone. And because you're there, he doesn't want to do it. So he'll walk away and pretend to be uh, a staff worker and try and mop the floor and stuff like that. That's what he'll try to do. Uh, to try and blend in, but we're not having any of it. So once he walks across this puddle, that's is when we want to activate the taser. And once he falls down, he's going to drop the dictaphone, and that's when we can go ahead and retrieve it, and then head to an exit. As easy as that. Just be careful the camera to the left as you exit here, and the enforcer on the header pad. Now, if you're wondering if you can use other micro uh, other tasers, then the answer is no, because they are uh, viewable by NPCs. If you use a micro taser, they are invisible to any NPC so no one can see them whereas if you use a regular taser or a proximity then people are going to see it and they'll go and alert a guard for it so that's why it's important to use a micro taser but if you don't have that you can use a seeker wand to get them into the bathroom and take them out in there level three we have the collector or again we're only allowed one disguise change and we are going to retrieve the painting as well so we're going to start in the garden bring along a seeker one and a lethal syringe from the start, we're going to skip that ca camera panning shot. We just click pause there just to get rid of the loading symbol on the bottom right corner of the screen on PS5 because that's still a glitch. That's on PS5 and it's still there and hasn't been fixed yet, unfortunately. Really annoying. But once you uh, have started, we're going to head straight up to this bush. Target's right in front of us, so we're going to shoot him first with the seeker. We're going to wait a few seconds and then we're going to shoot his guard. And the reason why we do that is because we want to make sure that the target is heading towards the river to our right and we want the guard to walk away towards the house because it's difficult to take him out the earth they both went the opposite ways so we're going to wait for that gardener to stop reacting to our target and then we can syringe our target there's a guard to your right and guard to your left but they don't spot you so don't worry retrieve the hobby knife that he drops on the floor and we're going to head straight to the house now and that was a poison kill his body is going to be found but because it's a poison kill it's not going to wreck your silent assassin rating. So don't need to worry about it. 
Next we're going to retrieve a baseball. It's on the other side. I should have went around the other side. But there's a baseball there on the floor. We're going to use this to knock out a uh, guard. But essentially, because we just wasted time running all around there, we may as well just subdue him regularly, but never mind. Now we're going to climb up this ladder. This is a persistent shortcut, but if you don't have this unlocked, there's a, a pipe around the other side of the corner. Uh, you can climb up that and get to this uh, get to this room quite easily and then head out onto this balcony. Knock out this guard, take his disguise. This is going to allow us to get through the room with Alexa Carlos room. This is where the painting is going to be. So we're just going to climb across here. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Move past the window and climb up the pipe. Now it seems there's only like one enforcer up here, and he's always got his—he's always quite a distance away from you, so you don't have to worry about him. So we can run straight through this room, head straight to the painting, which is going to be just up here, very easily highlighted. And there we go. Good. You got the Both objectives down. Now, head for an exit. now we're going to retrace our steps. Climb back over the wall, slide back down the pipe on your left. Move past the window. I'm actually going to climb back down because it's actually faster than walking for some reason. It should be. But yeah, there's an exit right in front of us. That's the one we're going to take. But like I said, uh, overall, it's really simple when you have the equipment and the start locations that you uh, you need. So I think it's always easier that way. But if we're doing a default loadout, it obviously becomes a lot more tricky because we don't have much to work with. But uh, using all your equipment to your advantage, you have a lot more options for you. But it does make all these elusive targets a lot more easier. And you can actually use any of these techniques in the regular elusive targets as well, not just the arcades. So there we go. That's how you complete the infiltrators, all three levels with, uh, with equipment. It's nice, easy, and quite fast as well. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. If it did, subscribe if you want to the channel as well. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details on that. Big shout out to my Psycho Assassin members in particular. Paul at home, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Wandering Wendy and Andrew Phillips. Thank you very much for coming top-tier Psycho Assassin members. Oh, Psycho Assassin members, there we go. I've got the words out eventually. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.